Welcome to Weld.com. I'm playing around with the Everlast 251SI. Um, cool machine, tons of features on it, multi-process. I'm, uh, I'm kind of playing with this uh, different torch configuration than I'm used to. It's got a contactor. I'm not running a foot control. Whenever I initiate the arc on touch start, I'm running off this amperage. I'm running 14 gauge and I'm running 120 amps. Now I know that seems like that might be a little hot. However, we're in the pulse mode. I believe I have my pulses set at uh, 2.0, 60% on time, or 60% of the amperage, 40% background. We'll do a whole series on pulses and all the combinations. Basically, pulse is developed so that you can weld hot and fluid. The, the background amperage that it gives you is a cooling or dwell time. You can do some cool stuff with it. Um, weld some extremely thin metals, stainless, do some fun stuff with it on aluminum. Again, there's tons of videos we can do on this. I'm just trying to introduce the whole concept of, of a pulse type mode on this particular machine. I want, to, I want you to be able to see it. I'm, I'm going to do a fillet weld part of it with just leaving the wire on the leading edge. I'm not going to walk the cup, but I'm just going to leave it on the leading edge. This would be Think of it as like an auto dab type thing, you know, where the wire just kind of got melt right into the pool, create the pool, and I'm just going to be moving along. Okay, let me get my uh, let me get my gear on. I'll be right back. I think in the intro I said I was two pulses per second. I'm 1.5. 60% of my amperage, 120, background of 30. Again, I wanted you to see this concept. I don't want you to get lost in numbers or try to understand the true values of, I just want you to see that it is a pulsing weld. And I'm leaving the wire right on the leading edge. Kind of a fun process here. Second ago, I did a weld. My uh, base amperage was 120. I was pulsing at 1.5 pulses per second. I wanted you to be able to see that. I had a 60% uh, uh, on time, 30% background amperage every time it pulsed. That is the pulsing effect. And then just to see something different, I've left everything the same except I have now turned the pulses up to 10 per second. So what you should see is a, a bunch of flashes on here real quick, obviously. But again, I'm trying to introduce this. You know, we've got a different uh, torch configuration with a contactor. We're running off this 4T program. But even within that program, we have all these options of pulsing. And we will do a video and explain pulse because there's just, I mean, it's like an unlimited amount of stuff that you can do and basically it's it's welding fast with less overall heat input into the material so let me uh let's do this second part of this weld here and we'll talk about it after we get done Did a couple of different welds here. A little fillet weld on 14 gauge. A couple concepts of uh, some pulse. The, uh, the first go around, this part of it, we were doing uh, 1.5 pulses per second. 120 amps was our base. We had a 60% uh, on time, 30% background. 
and we left the wire on the leading edge and it just kind of you know kind of made our stacked our little uh, ridges in here stacked our dimes for us again we're on 14 gauge material so we don't need a very big weld at all and that's the whole thing we're doing is just small and i'm getting rid getting used to this torch this contactor of setting it down no amperage control just running flat out whatever it's on it's on and travel speed okay and then we ran the second part of this yeah that's a little warm um, ran the second part of this and we showed we left everything the same except we turned it up to 10 pulses per second so it was just sitting there flashing repeatedly to show a different contrast and a different realm of what what's happening in the pool kind of ran the same way I think I dipped about halfway through or a third of the way through here didn't contaminate the tungsten so I kept on going it's not critical weld anyway anyway I, I wanted to introduce this this Everlast 251 SI multi-process machine with pulse capabilities all kinds of cool features to it um, I'm gonna play around and figure out some more stuff to do and you know one of the practical applications what do you what do you do with pulse well I, I said that you can weld make weldments like this you should be able to weld a little faster with less overall heat input into the material so if you're welding on something that's prone to warp you might think about doing a, a process like this um, I'm sure you can see this pretty pretty clean. I can go in here without any filler wire and I can mark all my tools and stuff. Non-critical application, but it's kind of fun. You can see how it actually, how it works. See some contrast to it. Westchester Iron Cat TIG gloves, pretty, pretty fun. You can handle these small. I'm using a 1 16th wire and I can feel it fine. I mean, I, you know, the heat resistance and the mobility, dexterity with them. So uh, I hope that helps. We're gonna do some more videos and uh, play around with the different processes inside this machine, some procedures. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. New videos come out every week. Thank you.